Right, I've put on a public event at Winchester Discovery Centre, which is also the library, but if we go in here, we've got an auditorium with high ceilings. And here are all the pieces, ready to be assembled, but now we need to put it all together before anyone turns up, including the surveyor who's going to measure it. All right, it's all assembled and it is freestanding and it stands up on its own feet. So I was going to build a kind of cage around it for health and safety. But I don't think it's going to fall up, fall down unless the front of the feet snap off or something weird. So we're going to go on the ground and give it a shove. But I think it's all right. So there we go. Pretty happy it stands up on its own. Uh, obviously never tried it before, but it does seem to um, be fairly well balanced front to back. Okay, it's pretty big. It's bigger than I thought it would be. So let's see. I think it'll be all right, but I'm a bit worried about health and safety. So hopefully you can see it's not attached to the wall. We can see that's clear there. Okay, and the feet aren't uh, screwed to the floor or anything. In fact, if I rock it, we can see they do come off the floor, but it does hold itself up. So we've advertised the public event on the Winchester Discovery Centre Facebook page, the Hampshire Library's Facebook page, my own Facebook page, and various other Twitters and shares. So in the interest of health and safety, because I don't want to have to explain why I didn't do this in a courtroom if it falls on someone and kills a child because it weighs 50 kilograms, we've just built this uh, thing here which isn't attached to it, but will stop it falling forward should the feet snap off, a little bit at least. But we are going to put a cordon up and stop the public coming too near anyway. So also we've got a 3D printing demo with a Lulzbot Taz that made the actual thing and we've got some filament and we've got some extra demo pieces that show the infill and another completed block that it was made from. Alright, I'm here with 3D Filiprint who sponsored the filament for this project and they've come down from South End to uh, be at the event. Alright, it's time for measuring. So I'm here with Mike and Akisha from Selway Joyce Chartered Quantity Surveyors you've come to do the official measuring. And I also need two independent witnesses, so I've got Tom and Patrick, who are not related to me, who are going to verify that I haven't bribed the surveyor. All right, so the measuring is done and the official measurement was? I can confirm the official measurement as 3.62 metres. Excellent, thank you very much. And what is this material again? Is it so this is PLA filament, which is uh, basically polylactic acid, which is biodegradable, made of cornstarch. Okay. Um, but yeah, I think if they said you couldn't use 3D printing, it would be a lot harder to make. It's how you might, you'd have to carve it by hand. But <laughs> for me anyway, it was... Uh, well, you might use sort of... Plaster of Paris? Maybe. Chicken, um, chicken wire? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah I oh, suppose so. Perhaps. Probably be a lot heavier, though. It would, yeah. So. And, and it would be as easy as that. Yeah, yeah, exactly, so getting a light distance. Yeah, so. yeah definitely. <laughs> So we had a photographer and a reporter come from the local paper which is the Hampshire Chronicle and hopefully I'll have a copy of that report soon.
And I'm in the local paper on today, Monday the 23rd of October 2017, which was the Monday after the weekend of the event. And this is the Daily Echo Southern Edition. So it did of course beat the current world record, which is 3.06 metres, and mine is 3.62 metres. So basically over half a metre taller. But in order to actually get the world record, I have to give all the evidence to Guinness, which includes the surveyor's report, photos, video evidence, basically this video series you've been watching, press articles, the independent witness statements, and anything else I've got basically. So all that gets submitted, then they might take up to 12 weeks to actually verify if it's a record. So I'll be coming back, hopefully, with a certificate in hand in some amount of time. Alright, that's all for now.